The following video contains a copious amount of forgetfulness, random editing, weird noises, and my face. Viewer discretion is advised. I cannot be held responsible for whatever happens after. Now, where's my popcorn? I'm hungry. Then again, I'm always hungry. Now, where were... Hello, I'm that hairy gamer, as I'm sure you can tell from this. Yeah, got a bit of a beard going here. Mostly due to a laziness when it comes to shaving. If I genuinely could, I would get laser hair removal so I never had to shave again. I do not like the beard, I just can't be bothered. Anyway, I'm that UK gamer, and I'm back with a typical pickups video. This time, as I'm sure you can tell from the title and thumbnail of the video, Spontaneous Wii Games from Charity Shops. So, before I get into the actual video, I mentioned in my previous video, the, um, whatever it was, it's gone. I've completely forgotten what my last video was. The Mario 35th anniversary. Uh, had said I had an announcement. I have started work on something on Twitter called Project Alpha. If you're not aware, I have started writing a book, which will be all about my relationship with games, about how I got into gaming, what they mean to me, how they influence various bits of my life. I'm also holding a Q&A chapters as such in the book. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Just let me know if you're happy for me to put your YouTube channel name next to the question in the book. Um, there'll be further details, but I'm looking for online release about six months-ish. I'm aiming for my birthday at the end of February, so yeah. Keep an eye out for that. There'll be regular updates and videos anyway, apart from social media. Anyway, so, well... It's one o'clock in the morning, so technically two days ago now. On Thursday, the 12th? 10th? 10th of September. Get an hour lunch break during work while I'm working here at my girlfriend's. And I was like, really want to go out. Go proper cherry shop hunting. Despite there being loads nearby, I would never really find anything of interest. But there's another place about 10 minutes away by bus. So... I've been there for a while, so down I went to about eight charity shops, I think, down there. A couple more nearish there, which I didn't get a chance to go to, so I hope to check them soon. And I believe it was a very good call, because not only was it my first proper, full-on pick-up hunt in a while, or at least it felt it to me, it's also the most successful hunt I've had, I guess, since pre-lockdown, really. Possibly doing some later today, including hopefully my first CEX shop in about, I have no idea how long. Um, yeah, anyway, I managed to pick up five Wii games and in true Retro Bear style, I managed to get these for under a pound a game. And in fact, I've worked out that from CEX at the time when I bought them, they would have cost a total of 10 pound. So. I didn't even cost 50% of that, so I'm really happy with that. I did buy something else which pushed it over £5, but it's worth it. It's Wii related, but it's not a game. You'll see in a minute. Anyway, uh, I just want to say thank you for watching the video and time for the pickups. First one, Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. I actually honestly thought I had this for way, but apparently I don't. So, yeah. Looks pretty clean on the outside. Must be part of a bundle, because I've just only noticed it says not for resale on the back. 
I never actually noticed that. Um, in again, Rich for Best style. Hope you don't mind. Over 70 tracks, including Ruby, Welcome to the Jungle, Number of the Beast, Helicopter, She Bangs a Drum, When You Were Young, some of which I've heard of, some of which I haven't. I just picked the ones that sound cool. Yeah. Um, don't have a guitar for Wii. I've got one from a 360, so I guess that's going to have to be something I get. I guess. Um, no manual, it's just a game. Quite a cool looking disc actually, in my opinion. Uh, and considering it's pretty good condition as well. Now you can see me recording me. Spooky. Or horrible, I'm sure one of me is more than enough, so two is probably like a nightmare. That was 50p. And I can't remember how much it's in CX, but it's either two or four pounds. So either way, bargain. Second game, well, it was a pound. However, as I'm sure you can see, it was a CX game. And cheaper than CX, because it's 150, as you can see there. So there you go. It's CSI, Crime Team Investigation, Deadly Intent. I know there's at least one more CSI game for the system, and I do have it. I can't think what it's called, it's gone. Um, yeah, it was a pound, as you can see. Although the fact is it's four forces, just they've had it for quite a while. But that would have been during lockdown, so now I'm confused. Um, yeah, this came from... Mind, maybe? Uh, something like that, I think. Might be a local one, I can't remember. The first one was a local charity, I believe. Got the manual, got the disc. I like how it appears the title, although the disc is currently upside down, is on uh, police tape. And again, looks pretty clean. And again, you can see me. So for a pound, I think that's a good addition. This one, I can't remember how much it was but I know it was more than a pound. Next one. Okay, so this is EA Active, more workouts. I picked this up, genuinely thinking it was EA Active, which seems to be everywhere. And as it appears, I don't even have that, which kind of surprised me admittedly. And I only was able to find out because no one was home by checking some photos I'd taken last week which would happen to be right in front of the Wii games at that point, alphabetically, so, thought. Yeah, anyway, turns out there's a second one, unsurprisingly, probably going on the whole Wii Fit, Wii Fit thing, and this one actually goes for, I believe it was three pound. So, um, as you can possibly see from that logo, it's 150, came from the same shop as CSI, again, Complete boring orange disc. I mean, the colour's nice, but it's a dull disc. Um, pretty good condition, and once again, there's me. So, for £1.50, half a CX price, I'm happy with that. Uh, the fourth game, also the third one from the EA Active CSI shop. This was a pound, but now it turns out it's 50p in CX. However, I didn't have it, so I just grabbed it. It's 50p more, but it goes to charity, so I'm not complaining. It's my word, coach, develop your vocabulary, which I really struggled with. Vocabulary. I think I have this on DS. I don't think I have the Wii one. Or if I do, I've got a duplicate, so I'll let you know. Um, it has word mini games, which sound quite fun. I don't mind word games. Bit of a geek like that. I'm very geeky and nerdy. Despite wearing a football shirt, I am very geeky and nerdy. Um, and again, like the other two, as well as the information sheet, it's complete. Dull white disc. Be shiny though. So that's cool. Um, disc. Again, very good condition. Couple of little spots on it, but I think that's just stuff on the disc that will come off. Um, 
even if it's 50p more than CX, as I said, apart from 50p more going cherry, it's actually very good condition. So I'm more than happy with this. Okay, fifth game. And in my opinion, the coolest one. This again was a 50p and goes for two or four pounds. So as I'm sure you can tell, I bought it when I got Guitar Hero 3. It's from the same shop. It is Guitar Hero, but Guitar Hero Metallica. Now, first of all, isn't that one of the coolest game titles ever? And Metallica is the name it's called Guitar Hero Metallica. It just sounds cool. Well, I think it does. Um, songs? I mean, to be honest, I don't know how many of these I've heard of. I've not been a heavy metal fan. Uh, All Nightmare Long, Creeping Death, Enter Sandman. Sure, I've heard of that one. Fuel, Master of Puppets, No Leaf Clover. And Sam Seek Seek and Destroy. That sounds cool. Also, one of my favourite Captain Scarlet episodes. Random fact. Uh... The thing that should not be, pretty much sums me up. And Whiplash. There's also actually over 20 guest acts which have been picked by Metallica. So you've got, uh, let's have a look. Am I Evil by Diamond Head. I think I am. Uh, Demon Cleaner. Tuesday's Gone, yep, because it's Saturday morning. Uh, evil, so yes, I am evil. Oh, come on, Ace of Spades. Everyone's heard of Ace of Spades by Motorhead. Um, Mommy's Little Monster. I'm definitely not little. By Social Distortion. Toxicity by System of a Down. And The Boys Are Back in Town by Finn Lizzy. Which, to be fair, is Gladiators to me, to be honest. The good Gladiators in the 90s, I mean. So yeah, so yeah, um, it was not thirty nine ninety nine. If it was, I got one hell of a discount. Uh, okay, so the disc looks cool as anything, even cooler than the Guitar Hero Three, if you ask me. Um, it looks as if there's been a little bit of damage. Especially to the health and information book, given how crinkly it is, but I don't really care about that. There's this, which looks to me like some sort of Guitar Hero poster, because it's also advertising Metallica and World Tour. So, this is the one I have on 360. Really enjoyed the custom tools. So many to say, like Sonic and Pokemon, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, and the disc itself. Again, really good condition. So for 50p, I think that's a bargain. And how about we end the actual pickups of the games with a random fact, which is my hands are so small, I cannot play the DS version because I can only reach about two of the buttons and I cannot reach the orange button on a normal Guitar Hero guitar. So I cannot even do the hardest level, even if I want to, because I cannot reach the buttons. My hands are that small. Yeah, big belly, big beard, tiny hands. And before anyone says anything, doesn't mean I'm small elsewhere. Just before anyone says it. Cause I know what you're like. I know that's what you say. I do of course refer to my belly and unfortunately my moves. Um, yeah. I did also pick up U Draw Studio earlier in the week. However, I have a gut feeling I've got that, but I'll find out tomorrow. Along with a couple of other games. So, yeah, but this is supposed to be a Wii video. So, I picked up one more thing which I mentioned, which was £2 from uh, a charity shop from my local hospital. And it is a guide to Star Wars The Force Unleashed. And as you can see, for the Wii. But what you may not know is it's actually double sided and this is for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Now I know the game's different. I bought the Wii version. I think it's the Wii one. Yeah, no, the Wii one on release. And I remember there were bits missing from it as opposed to the PlayStation Xbox version. I've actually started playing through the Xbox 360 version, so I'll get to see the difference. 
still a cool game either way. And I'm really happy to get this guy for two quid. It's Star Wars. It's a game I actually enjoy and want to play. And I thought I collected some guys anyway. So, yeah. Force on this guide for the week. And Xbox and PS3. But we can ignore that. So. Oh. It's decent-ish condition, actually. So. What do you think? Which of them is your favourite pickup? Mine? Although I'm not a heavy metal fan, I've got to say I'm interested in that Metallica one. I've got to say. It's cool. Yeah, as I said, anyway, I believe when I checked on CX and games came to £10, I spent £4.50. Two for 50p, two for a pound and one for £1.50. £6.50 if you include the guide. So, bargain in my mind. Really happy with that. And in my mind, I think that's personally what charity shop hunting is about, getting the bargains, but at the same time supporting local charities or national charities, depends what shop it is. Um, yeah, great games there, great condition to be honest. I'm happy with to add them to my collection. I've just got to find space for them, so that's going to be fun to more. Uh, yeah, anyway, as I said, keep an eye out for the book, which for now I'm calling Project Alpha. Alpha being because Alpha's first, and this is going to be my first book, I hope to do more. Um, I have the Discord website, they're all in the description below and on the other social media. Uh, I'd like to say thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.